Hey everyone! So, Apple just dropped iOS 16.5, and guess what? It works with the Panga jailbreak. In this guide, I'll show you how to get Cydia up and running on your iOS 16.5 device. By the end, you'll be able to install tweaks like shifting your dock icons to different positions like this. Or installing a really cool sidebar like this. Plus, Cydia's got tons of cool themes to choose from. No worries, this method's totally safe and works like a charm on the newest iPhone 14 models. You'll get untethered Cydia, which means it'll still work even after rebooting your device, no need to keep jailbreaking it over and over. Alright, let's get started. First, I'll show you the iOS version on my iPhone 14, yep, it's the latest iOS 16.5. Before you start, go to the Find My Apps Me tab and turn off Share My Location. Also, make sure your battery's at least 50% charged, and you've got a decent internet connection. Now, open Safari, head to iospango.com, and I'll link it in the first comment below. On the website, hit the download button. You'll see a social locker that wants you to either subscribe to my YouTube channel or share the site on Facebook or Twitter. Your choice. I'll show you the YouTube option, just click the icon, subscribe, and turn on all notifications. Once that's done, the download button on the site should unlock. Click it, and then tap Allow to install the Pango configuration profile. Go to your iPhone Settings app, and you'll find Profile downloaded right under your profile name. Pick this option and follow the prompts to install the profile. After that's done, you'll see the Pango app on your home screen. Open it up, and it'll show your phone's current iOS version. Tap the jailbreak button, and in about 2 to 3 minutes, you're all set. So, I am going to just fast forward this part. Alright guys, the process is almost done. And there it is, jailbreak has been completed and now it's giving me option to install Cydia. So just go ahead and choose the option to install Cydia. Head back to your home screen and you'll see Cydia installing on your device. With the jailbreak and Cydia installation done, you can start exploring iOS 16 compatible tweaks. Keep in mind, not all tweaks work with iOS 16 yet but more should be coming as developers catch up with the new jailbreak. I'll demo some tweak installations. Here, I will install a really cool tweak known as Stratashare. Stratashare will change the position of your dock. Let me go ahead and quickly install it. Just choose the option to install it and once it is installed, you need to respring your device. Just give it some time to download the tweak. It all depends upon your internet speed. And that's it guys, as you can see, all of my dock icons are now shifted to top position. Let me install one more tweak which is Rofi. Rofi is an app launcher tweak. It's simple, easy to use, and accessible from everywhere. Almost every aspect about Rofi is customizable, and there's no limitation to how many apps you want to add. Once the tweak is installed, just respring the device and then unlock your iPhone. Alright guys, as you can see, this tweak has enabled a side app launcher icon for me. You can customize the number of apps per page, you can add as many apps as you want, you can scroll through if you have more apps than can be shown. This is really cool guys. You can also install a lot of cool themes to customize your iDevice, like this. I hope you liked this guide. If you run into any issues, drop a comment below, and I'll help you out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next video. Peace.